in this means n must be here and in the second case n is exactly between r and s is it possible and the second case got invalid now we have left with only the first case and the number of portions in between t and n same as t and q t and n equals to t and q means t must be exactly between n and q as t is exactly between n and q how many portions are there in between t and n five Hence, we need to have five portions in between Q and T. One, two, three, four, five. Must it be enough? And five in between T and N, and five in between T and Q. And W sits to the left of Q, but does not sit at any end of the room. Number of portions sitting between N and S same as S and V. N and S, how many people? There are two people. S and V, we need to have exactly two people. Right from right hand side, it is fixed. Now we are left with the left hand side. To the left hand side of Q. How many persons are there? There is not known. M sits exactly between Q and T. M is exactly between Q and T. M is here. Am I sorry, Ben? Now we have left with one more information. What is that information here? Number of persons sitting to the right hand side of S. How many are there? Four. There are four persons sitting to the right hand side of S. One, two, three, four. This is one less than the persons to the left of M. And to the left hand side of M, how many persons we need to have? And this four is one less than. One less than means now to the left hand side of M we need to have five persons and five persons and W is to the left of Q but does not sit at any end of the row W is here. None of this. This is the final arrangement. And how many persons are sitting in this row? Tell me here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen plus four, twenty-one. Twenty-one or twenty-two? Twenty-two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two. And total we have some twenty-two. That is choice three. And how many persons are in between T and N? Now in between T and N there are exactly five. Choice four. And which are the following persons? It's third to the left of him. Third to the left of him. Who is that person? Q. That is choice two. And four are the following. R and N. R and N. There are two people. S and V. There are two people. N and S, there are two people. T and N, there are two people. And Q and W, between Q and W, they are adjacent to each other. They are adjacent to each other. Choice five is the odd one. And how many persons are sitting to the right of the one who is third to the right of R? Third to the right of R, who is that person? N. How many persons are sitting to the right hand side of N? Three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven persons. That is choice two. Question number seventy. Clear? Now this is about question number sixty-six to seventy and seventy-one to seventy-five. Now in this seventy-one to seventy-five from yesterday onwards, one paper number one sixty onwards. Now the difficulty level of these papers were increased a little bit. Now again, then seventy-one to seventy-five. Our majority around fifteen papers they were very easy. Now they just increased because now the notifications are very near. But that is the question. And we get more difficulty level in general. Then 71 to 75. Now in this 71 to 75, how many persons are there? Seven persons. C F G H K L M are visiting the Golden Temple one after the other in a week, starting from Monday and ending on Sunday. Starting from Monday, ending on Sunday. Hence, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And there is a possibility, man. Now starting on Monday and ending on Sunday. Starting on Monday and ending on Sunday. Then first fix the days of the center, and then extend the lines like this. L is visiting Golden Temple on Thursday. Information clearly given about this L. L is on Thursday, and two persons between L and M. Now in between L and M, there must be exactly two people. M can be either on Sunday or M can be on Monday because two people between L and M. And next one, E is visiting after G. Now this E is after whom? E is visiting after G. Now three persons between H and F. Now how many persons between H and F? There must be exactly three in between H and F. Order is not specified. Whether H can be before this F or F is before this H. Hence three persons between H and F. F who is visiting neither on Tuesday nor on Saturday. Now F cannot be on Tuesday. Cannot be on Saturday. Now F cannot be in these two places. F cannot be on Tuesday and cannot be on Saturday. Then next one, and K is visiting after F. Now this K is visiting after whom? After F. At least two persons between K and Z. At least two means minimum two persons between K and Z. E is visiting either Tuesday or Saturday. 
now we have this information either e is tuesday or saturday now let us take for example e is on tuesday now if e is on tuesday then g must be somewhere here and together because g must be before this e and then h and f in between h and f we need to have exactly three people now if h is here one two three f must be here not possible or f is here h is here not possible and which implies that e cannot be on tuesday now sir you know as e cannot be on tuesday what is the other possibility we have e must be on saturday now if e is on saturday g must be before this one between h and f we need to have exactly three people hence if hr is here one two three e f will be here now we cannot have f at this place why because if f is here k must be after this f which is not possible hence as f cannot be on this place on friday hence f must be on monday if f is here h must be here and next one h and f now in between g and e now g and e g must be before this one now at least two persons between k and g finally k and g were here and at least two persons between k and g is it possible hence this case is completely ruled out now sir when are then coming back to the second one now in the second one then regarding this e e can be either on tuesday or saturday now if e is on tuesday then in between h and f we need to have exactly three and exactly three hence f must be at this place one two three h is here and you get it now if you have at this place e and f then g is before this e. is it possible not possible which implies that e cannot be on tuesday if e is not on tuesday e must be on saturday if e is on saturday hrf must be here hence f is here and h will be here three in between h and f is it possible here no and anyhow f cannot be on tuesday get it as f cannot be on tuesday when so where should this f f must be on wednesday if f is here h is here. and k is after this f k is here if k is here g must be here in between e and g at least two hence g must be on tuesday done with this and this is the final arrangement and which person is visiting on tuesday now tell me who is visiting on tuesday g that is choice four and how many persons are there in between f and the one who visited on saturday between f and saturday there are only two people that is choice three and the number of persons visiting between g and l g and l there is exactly one person same as between e and f false h and k for h and k there is exactly one person and next one four are the following l and e l and e there is one person and k and f there is exactly one person g and l g and l there is one person m and f m and f there is exactly one h and l there are two persons except in choice 5 and in the remaining choice choices there is exactly one person between these two and next one which of the following pair is second person is visiting before the first person e is before g e is before g true or false e is before g is false and l is before h l is before h true or not the next one l is before h and the second person is visiting before the first person now second person e is before g false h is before l false m is before m definite m is before f definitely true choice three second person must be before the first person m is the second person m is on monday f is on wednesday done this now 71 to 75 then 76 to 80 Now, first of the second priority. Second priority in general boxes should always be the second priority. So, because you have more number of possibilities. And next one. And 81 to 85, you have done with this one. Now, question number 81 to 85. Now, in this there are some nine people sitting in a row facing towards which direction? North. One, two, three, four. North and south. Some of them are north. Some of them are south. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Some north and some south is clearly given. Nine persons were there, and coming to condition number one. Now, in the first condition, M sits four to the left of Q. M is four to the left of Q. Now we need to go with the possibilities. M is four to the left of Q, and three persons between Q and R, and three persons between Q and R. M is four to the left of Q if you take, and three persons between Q and R. One, two, three, R. And they get the, isn't it? Hence, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hence, where should this M? M is here. Now, three in between Q and R, and three in between Q and R. Now, M sits four to the left of Q means Q must be facing towards now. And P sits to the immediate right of N. That means P and N are adjacent to each other. P sits to the immediate right of N, 
and next one persons who sit at the extreme ends facing the same direction as q that means m and r also facing the same direction as q q is facing towards north and m and r should also face towards north o and p are facing opposite directions o and p opposites o and p opposite p sits fourth to the left of l but both are not either m or r they are not adjacent to m or r and p sits fourth to the left of l they are not adjacent to m or l if p is here 1 2 3 4 l r p r l p r l and together they are neither adjacent to m or r and next one l is facing towards north and l is facing towards north p sits fourth to the left of l l is facing towards north we cannot have l at this place because l is facing north l is here and p sits fourth to the left p must be at this place now sir bend the and p sits fourth to the left of l and at the same time p sits fourth to the left of l but both are not immediate to either m or r and l is facing north n sits to left of k n is to the left of k n is to the left hand side of k n and p are adjacent to each other and n and p are adjacent to each other we can have n at this place or n at this place and they are n and p are adjacent to each other and next at the same time n and p are adjacent to each other and s sits second to the left of o and s is seated second to the left of o o who is immediate to both q and l o is adjacent to q and l o must be at this place and where should this end and n sits second to the left of k n is seated second to the left of k hence n or k n or k must be in these two places and they are n sits second to the left of k and s sits second to the left of o s is here seated second to the left of o means so must be facing south if o is facing south o and p are facing opposite direction o is south p must be facing towards north we have done with this information and next one and k sits to the right of s k is to the right hand side of s and s s must be facing towards south and o is facing opposite to l and l is l and o are opposite directions immediate neighbors of p are facing the same direction but opposite to p immediate neighbors of p these two persons must be towards south if these two persons are facing towards south then any other information we have regarding the direction of this n and one person between n sits left of k n is to the left of as n is to the left of k these two persons are facing towards south and k is here n is here must have been the n is to the left of k now this is the final arrangement we have and according to this one how many persons are sitting between s and the one who sits second to the left of k second to the left of k who is that person n and s between n and s how many people are there there are exactly three people choice for question number 81 then coming to this 82 and which of the following person sits third to the left of o third to the left of o who is that person r choice to and four out of the following means odd one out now m and l both the persons are facing towards north and q and r they are also facing towards north o and k o is south and k is also towards south then next one r and p r and p towards north l and p also towards north except o and k the remaining persons pairs of persons are facing towards north and these two persons are facing south and so choice 3 is the odd one and which of the following person sits third to the right of the one who sits third from the left hand third from the left hand is p to that person third to the right is who is that person o o choice to third from the left hand everyone has upon p a p ki third right le everyone are in center third right everyone is in center o and which of the following pairs is sitting at the extremes m and r choice for question number 85 done with this then coming to 86 and 88 86 through 88 Now, just here we have 86 to 88. Now, it is based on directions. Now, in this one, A is 3 meters to the south of B. B is here. A is here. Now, the distance between these two is how much? 3 meters. And A is 3 meters. B, which is 7 meters to the east of C. B is 7 meters to the east of C. This is 7. And at the same time, E is 3 meters to the east of D. E, D, which is 6 meters to the south of C. And D is 6 meters to the south of C. Now, this is 6. Out of which up to here it is three. Now this is three. D is six meters to the south of C. E is three meters to the east of D. E is three meters to the east of D. This is E. Now which is just three meters to the east of D. And G is seven meters to the east of F. 
f is 9 meters to the north of e f is 9 meters to the north of e up to here what is the distance we have up to here it is 6 meters and plus 3 now that is 9 and f is 9 meters to the north of e 9 now this is 6 meters and this is 3 meters out of this 7 this is 3 and this would be 4 and there and next one and we have left with one more information g is 7 meters to the east of f equal to 7 meters now this is 4 And we have three more, and four plus three. Now this is G, which is seven meters to the east of F. Sir, be there. Then come to the first one. Eighty-six point M is. If point M is the middle of these two points C and D, that means M must be exactly here. Then what is the total distance between M and B? Now the distance between M and B. Tell me what is the distance we have. Now we need to find out the distance. Now in order to find out the distance, we need to find out this one seven and three. Now seven three. What is the distance we have? When you put what is the distance? Seven plus three. Seven square plus three square. And M is the middle point of C and D. Then what is the total distance between M and B? M K B K matter of total distance are not. Total distance this is seven and this is three. And seven square plus three square raval. Seven square plus three square is how much? And fifty eight. And fifty eight approximately equals to. M is the middle. A is three meters to the south of B. I mean, information should be enough. And B, which is seven meters to the east of C, and E is three meters to the east of D. E is three meters to the east of D. D, which is six meters to the south of C, and G is seven meters to the east of F. F is nine meters to the north of E. Then M is the middle point of C, and it means what is the total distance here? Six. Hence, M must be at this place. Then what is the total distance? Total distance. Now this is seven and this is three. Like I have said, seven and three. Okay, seven plus three is so much ten meters. So I assume you have to well done. But whereas in general distance is nothing but the shortest distance between these two. You should always take the shortest distance. Then what is the direction of E with respect to C? Now E with respect to C, Japan. In order to reach to E from C. Then first I need to move towards south and east, south and east, south east, south east three. And what is the shortest distance between A and G? Now the distance between A and G. Where is A? A is here. G is. Now in order to find out the shortest distance, then we need to write down like this. Now this is three meters, and this is how much? This is again three plus three six meters. And there you go. Now six square plus three square. Six square is how much? Thirty six. And three square is how much? Nine. Thirty six plus nine forty five. And root over forty five. That is choice four. And this is the shortest distance between these two. Now eighty six to eighty eight. Eighty nine to ninety one. Coding and decoding. No ascent and expansion element are there. Then coming to ninety two onwards. Now in this ninety two, ninety two onwards it is based on which category they have? No data sufficiency. And data sufficiency then. 95 to 100 first stage is the right answer. Now we have left two sets. One is first stage will be some boxes, and the next one is data sufficient. Data sufficient. How many questions we have under this? Only three questions under this. Fine. Then next one question numbers 95 to 97. Now is 95 to 97. It comes under which category? Comparisons. Now seven students were there. They have scored different marks in history subject. M scored more than N. M scored more marks than N and P, but not the highest. M scored more marks than both these two persons N and P, but not the highest. Only three persons scored fewer ranks than P and N. Only how many persons were there? And how many persons all together? Seven persons. Four, five, six, seven. Only three persons scored fewer marks than P. Now P is here. If P is here, only three persons less than Q scored more than L. Now this Q has scored more than L, but less than N. N Q and L, and and K scored less than Q, but not the least. Now K scored less than Q, but not the lowest. And next one P scored 83. This is what the information we have. And according to this one, tell me who is the topmost scorer? N. N that the other one that upon Q one dal, and Q that that the L one dal. Now P must be at the fourth place. If P is at the fourth place. Then M scored more than N and P. M is more than N and P, but not the highest score. Now, before this, below this N, we should have Q, L, K, P. And there you go. 
ఎనక ఎన కింద ఎంత ఉండదు చెప్పని క్యూఎల్కేపి అండ్ క్యూఎల్కేపి క్యూఎల్కేపి కెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎన్ అట్ దిస్ ప్లేస్ దట్ ఈస్ వన్ సచ్ పాజిబిలిటీ దెన్ వాట్ ఈస్ అదర్ పాజిబిలిటీ వీ హ్యావ్ మై ఎనీ అదర్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ గివెన్ డెఫినెట్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ రిగార్డింగ్ దిస్ and now this is one and if p is here n can be here or not unda chaledu now in this case m must be at this place and in this case m can be at any one of this if n is here m is not the highest m is not the heaviest teacher but not the highest m cannot be at the first place hence we cannot have n at this place isn't it as we cannot have n at this place m must be here if n is here n p and n is greater than q and l and but not the lowest mark but not lowest means k cannot be the lowest as k cannot be the lowest k is here and q is here and who is the other person after l is here and k l m n o o must be at the top place and out of which p scored 83 what is the score of this one p scored 83 now p who scored 83 is the fourth in the ranking and how many persons scored more than q more than q how many are there there are four that is choice five if m scored 86 marks if m scored 86 then the sum of the marks of n and p n and p what is the sum here now the sum of this n and p and those only now this n can be either 84 or 85 now if it is 84 what is the sum we have 167 or 168 167 or 168 one or three choice four and which one scored the least marks L score the lowest marks of choice two. Then, and coming to 98 to 100. Now in this 98 to 100, now they are individual type of questions in 98. Now it is based on row arrangement. That is ranking type. Now in a row of students, U is 14 from the right. Uh, U is 14 from the right. How many persons are there to the right hand side of U? 13. And at the same time, W is 12 from the left hand. As W is 12th from the left hand to the left hand side of W, how many persons? 12th to the left means 11 person. And there are 20 persons in between these two. Now tell me how many possibilities are there in this? W and U, U and W, 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 U 10 persons entered into the class before A, 15 students after B in between. A and B, there are 5 students, 6, 7, 8, 9 and so on. That's why we are going to ask you. We are going to ask you 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 then we will get two possibilities. If it is equal to or greater than any one of these one, then there is only one possibility and discussion. Now this 20 is, 20 is the number of persons in between these two is greater than these two. As it is greater than these two, there is only one possibility. That means you cannot be to the left hand side of W. Then, when I have used to run U and W, you have U and W, you have 20. Now W is 12th from the left. Is it possible? Minimum 21 persons are there. And minimum position starting from the left hand side for this W is 22. Hence, we cannot have the vice versa case. This is the only case we have. And what do you say? 20 plus 13. 20 plus 13, that is 33 plus 10, 44 plus U and W, 46. And total number of persons, 46. We regular get the same thing. Like you get set type in. You get the reverse sign of me. Then, you can use it. And next one, question number 99. Now in this 99, tell me what is information we have regarding this? And how many pairs of letters are there in the word testimonial? Now in the word, what is the word we have? Testimonial, T-A-S-T, T-E-S-T, M-O-N-I-A-L-S. Now testimonials, how many such pairs of letters are there? Now starting with the T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. No letter is much. E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. S and T. S and T are adjacent to each other. And in the English alphabet also, S and T are adjacent to each other. And they form a pair. And next one, S, T, U, V, that's it. M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. M, N, S, O, T, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. And O, P, Q, R, S, T. N, O, P, Q, R. That's it. I, J, K. 
left hand side to right hand side there are only two we have then again in the reverse starting with the s t u v w x y z l m n o p q r s l and s un m n o m n o p q r s t u and a b c d e f g h i b c d e f g h i and i j k l m n o p and next one n and o there is one more we have n o p q r s t n to t we have one more no no and one to t we have and again o t t also will have that one p q r s t how many we have as of now more than five choice five question number 99 then and coming to this one 100 experience d x p e r i e n c e d now in this word experienced and which word can be found with 2 4 7 and 9 2 4 5 6 7 8 3 4 5 6 7 8 nine isn't it 2 4 2 4 7 2 4 7 and 9 then tell me what is the word that can be formed x e e c x e e c is there any word that can be formed isn't it no word can be formed that is and if no word can be formed y as your answer so i score clear and next one now we have left with the seven eight questions now between these two tell me which is the easiest one no data sufficiency is much easier ipudu rendu mingli pani rendu itlo manaki priority by this time you will be hardly be left with around 2 to 3 minutes avu 2 to 3 minutes lo manaki puzzle avutunda data sufficiency avutundi data sufficiency at least one or two questions can be solved but is the puzzle unless and otherwise the entire arrangement is fine is you cannot be able to get even a single mark clear anduku mana second priority ki vachina but among the left over in the second priority then we need to take the possibilities one second priority is one second then and in this five friends around the circular table in a college starting monday ending saturday and six bags different way which is the six now you move it to first priority as you said 92 93 94 first one among the circular arrangement second one and six different six different days and bags were the same way as hence 94 could be easier when compared with the remaining avuna kada and next one hence we will start with the question number 94 here and six bags each having different weights 1 2 3 4 5 6 now the question is about what and which then which is the second heaviest now we need to identify the second heaviest in this now the second heaviest in this one and coming to condition number 1 first one jodan a which are ekana and bag b is heavier than b is heavier than both these two c and d and the weight of bag c is 28 and c is so much c is 28 kg and e is heavier than only a e is heavier than only a but lighter than the remaining and take that e is heavier than only a now we among the remaining b c and d now b c and d b can be here or b can be here isn't it hence we are having more than one possibility hence one alone is not sufficient then coming to the third second one only three bags are lighter than c c can not occur but only three bags and c must be at the third place and the weight of b is 32 kg which is 2 kg less than f and that means b is 2 kg less than f f and b must be like this now with the help of 2 alone can you identify this one which is heavier no chapu chere da no why it is no no bag b is so much bag b is 32 and f is so much f is so much f is 34 f 34 and what is the bag weight of c c and da c and da 28 kada mari c 28 ante ee rendu ekkada vale f rendu ekkada vastundi but answer vastunda ledha only two to vastunda ledha అమ్మ ఎలా వస్తుంది ఓన్లీ టూ టూ అమ్మ సి సి ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ అని ఎక్కడ ఇచ్చాడు వన్ లో ఇచ్చాడు వన్ ఎందుకు వాడుతున్నాం మళ్ళీ క్లియర్ హెన్స్ టూ ఏ లోన్ ఈజ్ నాట్ సఫిషియంట్ దెన్ ఎందుకని మీకు అలవాట్ అయిపోతుంది వన్ చదివిన వెంటనే చూసి చదువుతున్నాం కాబట్టి వన్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ వాడేస్తారు మీరు యూఆర్ నాట్ సపోజ్ టు డూ దట్ హెన్స్ వన్ ఏ లోన్ ఈజ్ నాట్ సఫిషియంట్ టూ ఏ లోన్ ఈజ్ నాట్ సఫిషియంట్ దెన్ బై కంబైనింగ్ దీస్ టూ ఇఫ్ యూ ఆఫ్ ద రియల్ నౌ సి ఈజ్ గివెన్ ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ and there are two which are heavier than one out of which b is the second heaviest how do we got the answer only by combining these two choice five is the answer question number 94 then and next one are seated facing which who is seated second 92 question number 92 now in this 92 how many persons are there only five persons 
Now there are five persons. All the persons are facing towards the center. Now the question is about who is who sits second to the left of D. D is second left to our owner and center. First one A sits third to the left of B. B is here. One, two, three A is here. A sits third to the left of B. D and E are immediate neighbors to each other. D and E are immediate neighbors to each other. D and E, D and E. Hence this person must be C. And next one. C sits second to the right of E. C sits second to the right of E. Is here obviously D will be here. Are you getting the answer or not? Yes. What is the answer you are getting? And who is seated second to the left of D? Answer is not required. Then we got the arrangement. As we got the answer, we got the arrangement. There is no necessity to find out the answer. Whatever may be the question, are you getting the answer or not? Hence, so one alone is sufficient. No need to bother about what the answer is. Then coming to the second one. Now in this second, how many persons are there? Five persons. And out of which B sits second to the right of C. B is at this. B sits second to the right of C. Both E and E are immediate neighbors of C. E R A E R A. E and E are immediate neighbors. This person must be D. And here the question is about second to the left of D. Either E or A. There are two persons can be to the left hand side of E. Are we getting a unique answer? No. And so only one alone is sufficient. Choice one question number ninety two. Then next one ninety three. In a college, how many subjects you have? And six subjects on six different days, starting from Monday, ending on Saturday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And now six subjects on this, and which day was botany taught? And two subjects are taught between chemistry and mathematics. Mathematics is taught before zoology. Chemistry is taught on after when physics is. And chemistry is not taught on Thursday. Now, with the help of this one, are we getting any? Even definite information is not given, isn't it? And at the same time, no information about this biology, botany at all. Hence, one alone is not sufficient. And two, two subjects are between botany and zoology. Mathematics is taught immediately after physics. Now here also there is no different information. One alone is not sufficient. Two alone. Then by combining these two, and combining these two, is there any different information we have? No. By combining these two also, you cannot able to get the answer. So we have more than one possibility. Then you can record a definite either fixed scale or regular. Fixed scale or regular will have up and down, up and down, more than number of possibilities. Now this is about question number ninety-three. Then how many questions were there? Just upon the as of now, in the given stipulated time, now you can solve around my seven or one or two marks. Man, like this, come on. That means around twenty-seven to twenty-eight is an ideal score for you people. More than twenty-five, that means yes, sir. More than twenty-five, fine. Mean ka? More than twenty-five, good. Mean ka? Twenty-five, more than twenty-five. Mean ka? Andre? Then next one. And what else is left over here? Ma, do you know minimum score? And total score, how much? Now, first one, certain number of persons, five questions. So, those things are definitely going to take a little bit of the time spent just now. And next one, and seven persons, golden temple. I think they definitely just are going to seventy-one to seventy-five. And next one, seventy-six to eighty. Where is the one going now? And next one, eighty-one to eighty-five. Just are going to go. One twenty-six to eighty-five. Sir, eighty-one to eighty-five. Pack can go. Eighty-six to eighty-eight. I think definitely just are going to go. And next one, eighty-nine to ninety-one. Either three marks or something like that, isn't it? And after this one, last ninety-five to hundred. 95 to 100, six more questions. And how many you can easily to score? 10 plus 16 plus six. 22 questions easy, am? Then can go couple days later. Then after the royal arrangement, they are just fine. So the get chance here, am I? Now the only thing which matters is how you are selecting this. Are any puzzle side pane? Are own core one key pattern? After the individual question, yes. And after time, sir, put them in. Clear? Then. Coming to question number seventy-nine to seventy-six to eighty, my strategy is very much required for you to clear any examination. Whether it's a PO or clerk, prelim or main. And if you put on J.C. then the strategy is very clear. So, the easy question is just skill ball, and you have to maximize your score in the very stipulated time. And still, some time is left. Then you need to focus on the just higher level than this one. Then. And next one. I am going to say that seventy-six to eighty. How many of you have done this one? Seventy-six to eighty. Now here, eight boxes are there arranged in a stack one above the other. 
one above the other. Each box contains different number of five rupee coins. And five rupee coins, what are the five rupee coins? We have eight five rupee coins, and that is twelve and fifteen. Eight, twelve, fifteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, and twenty-five. Now these are the number of points we have. And next one, three boxes are between R and three boxes between R and what? R is twenty. And three boxes between R and twenty. Let us go to three boxes between R and a box which is containing twenty. Or the vice versa. Twenty can be above or R can be below. And twenty and R we can able to fix like this as well. And three boxes between twenty and R, and two boxes are there between Q and U, and two in between Q and U, and the sum is, and the total sum is one seventy five or not? As the total sum is one seventy five, and Q and U total sum is one seventy five. If you divide this one seventy five by five, what is the value we have? Thirty five. And so Q plus U must be how much? Thirty five. Understood? Because all these are denominations of five rupees. The total value is so much. Total value is one hundred and seventy-five hundred. One seventy-five divided by five. How many times it goes? Seven three seven twenty-five thirty-five. And the value of Q plus U equals to how much? Q plus U is thirty-five. If Q plus U is thirty-five, what are the different possibilities we have? And fifteen twenty in any order? That is one such possibility. Next one. And then next thing can you do? Eight and twenty-seven, twelve and twenty-three. And 12 and 23, there is one more possibility. And then what? 12 and 23, we have one more possibility. And how many possibilities we have for this 35? There are two possible. And Q and U. And two boxes are there between P and the box that contains 15. Now P and the box that contains 15. How many boxes are there? There are two boxes. And V contains a prime number of box. And V contains a prime number means V can be either 17 or 23 in any order. And then 17 and 23 are the only two prime numbers we have in this. Yes, and next one. S contains twelve, which is immediately about the box that contains seven. S is immediate. S contains twelve, which is immediately about the box contains even number. This even number can be eight or twenty. And they get them. This is eight or twenty. We have only three even numbers: eight, twelve, and twenty. And S is twelve, which is immediately about eight, and which is immediately about the box contain and about the box fifteen. Now this S is about to the box that is 15. And there you go. Now if 15 is here now between P and 15, how many boxes we have? P and 15 we need to have exactly two. P and 15 two. E information. P and 15 two boxes. And there you go. P S and next one blank eight and 15. And next one 12 and 15. 15. Three boxes are there in between S and V. Now in between S and V, how many boxes are there? Three boxes. Now, if you start with this one, I mean, then the possible to start just now because we have yes here. Now we need to discuss about this V as well. Yes, soon and yes is so much twelve and below this twelve we need to have either eight or twenty. Or not either. And after this one, and what is the box we have? Fifteen. Now between S and V, how many boxes? Three boxes. One, two, three. One more box is here. Now V must be at this place. Clear? One, two, three, four, five, six boxes were done. As six were done, then the remaining two can be either above P or below P. And S and V, V which is below to S, V is below to S, and W is immediately below to U. Now W is immediately below to U means U and W must be together. Whether this U and W must be below th before this P or after this V or in between S and V. And they get them. And next one, W is immediately below U and contains either twenty-one or seventeen. Which contains twenty-one or seventeen? W can end. End means the first one. W contains either seventeen or twenty-one. And they get W is seventeen or twenty-one. And V is immediate to box T. As V is immediate to box T, T can be either immediately above or immediately below, isn't it? And T, T is immediate. V is immediate. Difference between P and T is two. Difference between P and T is two. Among the given numbers, difference between P and two T can be either fifteen, seventeen, or twenty-three, twenty-five. And they get up and twenty-one, twenty-three as well. And so there are three possibilities. And difference between P and T, T has more. T has more than P. Now here we have S twelve I pin. Next one we have fifteen at this place. And Q plus U equals to fifteen or not? As Q plus U equals to fifteen, then where can we have this Q plus U? Now between R and twenty, R and twenty we have left over. 
another R in 20 there must be exactly how many there are three R in 20 there are exactly three now if you take R at this place this is just a possibility I am talking about here if R is here R is here 20 is here this is R is here and they get them if R is here then this R must contain R cannot be 20 then R will be 8 if R is 8 1 2 3 and this must be 20 now if this is 20 R in 20 is so much R in 20 how much S is already 12 S is already 12 you cannot have Q and U 12 and 23 case Q and U enter all the open monkey 15 20 35 12 23 out of which S is 12 hence we cannot have 12 and 23 hence Q and U if one is 15 the other one is 20 as one is 15 the other one is 20 hence Q and U can be in these two places hence T must be at this place and they get them and T cannot be 20 hence either Q or U either Q or U is 20 now sir bin P S R next Q R U T V U R U now can we have U at this place U equal to sir no why it is no because U and W must be adjacent to each other as U and W are adjacent to each other we cannot have U at this place Q is here if Q is here U is here and U is here W is here and if U and W 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 the order is finalized as order is finalized here Q and U is 35 and out of which Q is 15 and U is 20 sir when you get the Q and U 35 and next one P and 15 P and 15 sir when and next one R is so much R is R is definitely 8, it cannot be 20. And they get them. Because U is 20. Hence R must be how much? R must be 8. If R is 8, 8 I pin, 12 I pin, and next one W, W is either 17 or 21. W, I mean, income marke, prime number on the V is 17 or 23. And V is 17 or 23. Income marke, very value appear on the Q plus U I pin, S and u v is 17 or 23 and box v is to immediate to t difference between p and t is difference between p and t is so much 2 and 2 means the possibility 15 and 17 as there is a possibility for these two and next one 21 and 23 is it possible here 21 23 i have what's together my p and t 21 23 yes and next one 23 25 23 25 there is also possibility then V is either 17 or 23 or not. And V is so much? V is 17 or 23. Yes, let us go through the information once again. 3 boxes between R and 20. And 2 boxes between Q and U. In between Q and U there are 2 boxes. And the total sum is so much? 35. 2 boxes are there in between P and 15. And V contains prime number coins. And V contains either 17 or 23. V is either 17 or it is 23. V is 23 or 17. And next one, S contains 12. 12 which is immediately about to even number and about to that box 15. 3 boxes between S and V. 3 in between S and V. And V is below to S. And W is immediately to U and contains either 21 or 17. Now this W contains either 21 or 17. That means either V or W must have 17. And V is immediate to box it. Difference between P and T is 200. Now P and T is 2. P and T is 2. Then what are the remaining elements left over? Not 8 I pin, 12 I pin and next one P and T. And P and T cannot be 15 because R cannot be this one. Q is 15. P and T monkey 2 raval. And next one 17. Now P and T, P and T can be the difference between these two is only 2. And P is, T has more than P. Now T has more than P and R. Income on KIP and 20 could IP and together. Because U is 20 and W is so much W is either 21 or 17. Now among the leftovers 17, 21, 23, 25, P and T must be the difference is 2. P and T 2 over and 1 can't over. 17 I think I have a chance to get the P and T. 17 I think I have a chance to get the P and T. And 15 or 19 not possible. Hence P and T cannot be this one. Hence we have left with this what? And P and T 17 not possible. 21, 23, 23, 25. Clear? 21, 23 or 23, 25. Now 21, 23 and next one T has more than P. 
now t is having more than p or not now 21 23 if you have t is having more than p then t must have 21 20, 21 23 first check cheyadam check cheyadam now in this one t is having more or not t must be how much t must be 23 if t is 23 this will be 21 23 21 aipothe inka meeli pen anthe cheppandi and 17 now 17 is ended low and 21 IP and this must be 17. It is 17 is equal to 25. We if 25 is it possible? Not possible. Not possible, which implies that P and T cannot be 21, 23. Done with this? And if these two can be 21, 23, then the left door is 23, 25. And T is 25 and P is 23. And if P is 23, this cannot be 23, V is 17. If V is 17, this is 21. Then, now this is the final arrangement we have for this 76 to 80. Let's write down this arrangement. Then, and the box is April last to priority get one down. And they are starting, starting, now we will take a note, it is okay, just sir. It is good, just sir, let it out. And so we need to go through according to the priority only.